All right, guys, welcome back to Fallout 3. Uh, we are back in the underground. Hey, you. We are here to meet Mr. Crawley. What are you looking at? You'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. Easy now, I got nothing against ghouls. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing whore. Ooh. Uh, milk-sucking, shuffle, step, and bring e Oh, I like I'm that. A human bigot. It figures. Go meet with a super mutant. Oh, what? what? Now? You're starting to piss You were rude to me first. I like a human that knows his place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. And you know what really pisses me off? They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. Okay, what's the plan? Not everyone is as sympathetic to ghouls as you are. In fact, some humans are downright bigots. They treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, I'm gonna make them pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? Uh... I'll see. Right. Well, aren't you the bloodthirsty type? I got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started out with 11. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die. But it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories, where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll pay you 100 caps for each one. 25 if they die some other way. Sure, people like that don't deserve to live. Hey, anything for some extra caps. Um. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys and their last known locations. Word will get around if Tenpenny's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof. Like a key, a ring, or something. Uh. Damn, he's the one I most wanted to die by my hand. At least he's dead somehow. Here, I'll give you 25 caps for the news, but I'm not gonna pay you to kill a dead man. <laughs> Later. Okay, so... Tim Penny's dead. Um... I went in, I was looking around, I was trying to find the, the ghoul for my thumbnail in the tower, but I never found him. So, uh, I believe he killed a bunch of the residents, and <clears throat> next time we go to Tenpenny Tower, it will be like all ghouls. So, we're gonna need... Where the hell's why is that out in the middle of heaven nowhere? Uh, I guess we'll shoot for this guy. Okay, this is minefield. I don't know if the mines have reset. I hope they don't. They do, and that was stealing.
Huh. Okay, we're going after apparently Dave, and he's the Republic of Dave. And I'm gonna have to kill him with a headshot. Looking around as we're going. Cause who knows, we might find uh, something's on the radar. Oh, there's a lot of things on the radar. What? Oh, you got a mini gun. Come on, hit. Okay. The Roach King. Oh, he was a bad guy. He had a finger. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know why I can't. See, that's stupid. The freaking road finally. Well, there you go. I guess it's on the ground. It was a little baby. Rat scorpion. Twenty XP. Those are not bad for XP though. How close I am at this? Uh, I didn't want an episode of just just walking, but this is a uh, exploring in Fallout Three. That was just little. Yeah, you don't think about how far away stuff is when you don't have cars. I see fire over there. Where is it? Oh, is it the Protectron? Okay, so the other guy is a, is a random Brahmin. We're gonna have to uh, headshot this guy. Uh, 
Oh yeah, let me actually uh I didn't get no XP, I don't really care if I don't kill. Oh, we can get up there. Well, we are going really friggin' far out though. Stop trying to steal my kills. <laughs> I did not know what that was. <laughs> okay, I think this is a waypoint. Uh, it's just a wastelander. I'm not looking for trouble. Poor What? Uh, okay, buddy. Okay, yeah, so I need to go north. Hope oh, I see you up there. This must be it. Be cautious. Hey, who are you? What do you want from the Republic of Date? Don't worry, I'm just here to play Re Republic with you. I like playing Republic. I always get to play as Date. Here, I'll take you to him. Just be sure you call him Mr. President Daddy. He likes that. President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. Ah, uh, okay. I don't see anything, so. Hi there. See you. The Brahmin smelled awful today. We have someone new in my Republic. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? That uh, most excellent. Exile President Dave, I am an ambassador from the Wasteland. You are? Excellent. 
It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the sovereign republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. Ah, uh, what is it? Anything happen in this place, Mr. President? There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Well then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. What now? Not the drone now. Dave says you're okay? Fine. I'll help you if I can. Uh, who's running the election? Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. Uh. Did you ask Dave if that's okay? No way. You'd have to be... Okay, so why can't How I? How Ambassador? This Republic isn't going to run. The election is still going on. Uh, who's eligible to vote? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the Republic to run for office. So you do not have to become a citizen. <laughs> All right, sure, why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Uh, all right. Hi. Bye. So I need to find each of the adults. Are you an adult? Good to see you. So Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Absolutely not. In fact, I'd... Uh. Okay, so it ain't her. That's Museum of Day. A wastelander, like in the stories back then. Uh. And where's Almost the as big guy? As There she goes. Is like everybody in the another? Yes. What is it? Come on, I. Man, I'd love to be the president. And the first, but there's. Uh. 
Yeah, I'll show him. Oh, when I I'm in it. charge, everyone will have to say I'm as good as Dave. Better even. Fine, I'll get out of the way. Hey there, are you gonna play Republic? Okay, I think everybody, everybody else is here. Yes. Good to see you. I, I heard that Dave allowed you to. Okay, I don't think. Election time. Hmm. I don't know that he stands much of a chance against Dave. Anything else? Okay. I don't think I can change her yeah. opinion. Dave says you're okay? Fine. I'll help. Hmm. I don't know that he stands much of a chance against Dave. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't actually know. See, I don't know why it's, uh, any, I, I think, uh, I think I just gotta tell I heard them. that Dave allowed you to stay. Dave, you have my vote. Hi there. Have you heard about Dave's lady? Something you need? Me? Glad to hear it. Oh no. Dave said. Dave's the best. Uh, oh, you know. If I could. Your requires ah, key. Dave, lead our republic to glory. Morning. Hi. Yes? What can President... Uh... Selection yep. with you. An opponent? Seriously? But, but, wait. No, this is oh, a free no, republic. No, <laughs> Let the people make their choice. I am confident that they will recognize me as their true and proper leader. Good. The votes are in. If you'll excuse me, I'll be getting started on tallying the numbers. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. Hey. Hi there. Later. I don't know how this Let's goes out. A vote for me. Another vote for me. Bob? Hmm. After counting the votes, the president is... Well, despite the hiccup, it looks like I am still declared the winner. Hi there. Bye. Be cautious. Yes? What can... Mr. President. Uh, I'm just trying not to pop this fucker in the head. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, do I have to kill him with this? I, give up. I don't know if I had to kill him. Uh, for days. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's dead now. Ah, uh, well, I am sorry, guys. There you lived. Hey. Hey, are you a kid? Hey. President Daddy says the people. Oh no, you're a kid. That's a special weapon. I take special weapons as well. <laughs> if I know what, if, like if I find them. Looks like there's somebody in Rivet City. I don't really want to kill anybody in Rivet City. Hey, move that. What the hell is this? Let's see where this is at. Need to go. Apparently, this this way. Oh no! This is a. Oh baby, let me get you something special. How about a duke of surprise? <laughs> Never mind. You need a drink. Jerry needs some fucking booze over here. I didn't know there was an option to not kill them. <laughs> uh, who's... Haha! <laughs> They're my party girls. I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two. <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to be right back. Alright guys, I actually went ahead. I, I killed him. Good but to see you. I need to see... Yes? What can President Dave do for you? Apparently there is an option. Mr. President, do you know a girl named Mr. Crawley? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Uh... Speech, what happened in Fort Constantine? Two of us died, Mr. including Crowley. Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Well, Crowley is alive, Mr. President. I'm supposed to bring back proof of your death. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. Would you consider taking him a personal item, like this key, and just telling him you killed me? Uh, 
Uh, let's see, Mr. President, what is special about this key? Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Very well. Okay. Hi. So, now I don't feel bad about killing everybody. Uh, let's go in here. Talk to this guy now. Oh, baby, let me get you something special. How about a Duke of Surprise? <laughs> Never mind. You need a drink. Cherry, need some fucking booze over here. Uh, let's see where you're going to way out here yourself. So. Sounds like you might know a Mr. Crawl, you care to comment. He's fucking dead, that's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Uh, where did he die? Uh, a little shithole called Fort Constantine. It fucked us up, but good. Uh, where is Fort Constantine? It's northwest of here, numb nuts. A long fucking walk, too. Wankers like you can't get in, though. Huh? You need a special set of keys. Then Penny hired us as mercs. He wanted some fancy fucking gun. Don't know how he got Crowley to sign on. Ten Penny fucking hates ghouls. So just you and Mr. Crowley? <laughs> no clown shoes. Ten Penny hired a whole fucking team. Strail, Crowley, Tara, Dave, and me. Tara had a pair on her. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, they were nice. <laughs> That place fucked her up more than I did, huh? The rest of us went our separate ways after that. Actually, Crawley is alive. I suppose to kill you and bring him free. So, the meat bag is alive, huh? And I bet I know what he wants. But I don't know what you want. What's your angle, clown shoes? You, um... That's 42%. I don't think we'll make that. That yeah. dog ain't gonna hunt. You're gonna have to do better than that. Uh. Now that's what I'm talking about. You don't even know what's going on, do you, clown shoes? <laughs> you just bought yourself a motherfucking key. Now take it and get the hell out of here. All right. Hey. Sorry. Crap, there's so much booze here. I don't know if there's actually anything fancy here or not, besides a uh, statue. Here, wait. One second. Alright, uh, I don't know where the last person would be, though. It looks like they're at Rivet City. Oh, wait. Oh, they might not be at Rivet City. That might be, uh... and this we'll wait on the uh, next episode to find out the last bit of this uh, shoot him in the head and this doesn't even look like it lined up right <laughs> um 
Yeah, so please like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and I will see you guys later.